It's Jefferson Graham with USA Today, watching friends on an iPhone here, sitting by the pool with Mike Volpe from Juiced, who now has an iPhone application to watch, TV, watch his TV shows on the iPhone. Tell us about this and how it all came about. That's right. So, um, you know, our job is to try to get video, professional grade premium video, to as many people as possible in as many different places as possible. We have a website, juice.com, where, where we have our primary viewing portal. But we decided to launch an iPhone application, principally because it's a very popular device, as you know. And we wanted to kind of reach out to audiences that wanted to see this type of content on the move. So we launched an advertising supported service uh, that runs on the iPhone and has access to our virtually our entire library of 46,000 shows uh, through the iPhone app. Mike, there were a lot of big expectations for Juice that didn't work out, uh, primarily because you had to download your application. But now you're on the iPhone. What's that going to do for Juice and visibility? Well, it's very important for us. Obviously, we had a slow start in this business. Our original product, which was a downloaded application, didn't work as well as we hoped. So we had to relaunch the company in October and we launched it on our website. Uh, so you can go watch video without registration, without downloads, and so forth. The intent with the iPhone is, you know, you, there's probably a, a little over 10 million I iPhones out there. And iPhone users tend to be fairly avid, early adopter, technologist kinds of people. So the idea was give them an application where they can get a taste of it, get to know us as a company, and then as much as possible tie them back to our website so they can go and check out some videos on the website, watch higher quality stuff on the big, bigger screen, the PC screen, and so forth. But also at the same time try to monetize those users on the iPhone through an advertising supported model. The good news about Juiced on the iPhone, it's free and it works. The bad news, you have to be in a Wi-Fi zone to watch. So forget about seeing shows if you're standing on a line for a movie or sitting on a bus or a train. Now if you are near a Wi-Fi signal, you'll find TV shows from CBS and other networks, but nothing from ABC, Fox, or NBC, which can be readily found on other video sites like Hulu, VO, and Sling.com. Juice needs the additional programming to compete on the internet, which is suddenly flush with primetime fare. Now, I, I think it, it's been amazing the transformation in this industry over the last couple of years. You know, two years ago, there was like literally nothing available legally on the internet. Now, almost every show that you watch on television uh, and, and in the movie theaters, a lot of uh, films are now available online on an advertising supported basis. So it's been transformational for, for this industry. And I do think that if you look forward, say, five years, uh, I do believe that people will be wa watching the bulk of their content, except for, say, the Super Bowl, for example, which they might still watch live on an HD screen. The largest amount of viewing is going to be on the Internet, and those content owners who choose to put the products there will make a lot of money doing that.